What's going on guys? This is JT here. We're over here on the Android server on my good friend Nine's account and the reason why is he has this double evolved Lil Nick with 5 of 8 stone skin and already has him 9 of 10. Let me quickly read off Lil Nick. So I'm going to be showing off Lil Nick in all kinds of different game modes. So let's say Arena, Lost Battlefield, and then HBM. So Lil Nick increases his own attack by 420% and crit rate by 75% for 9 seconds. So cooldown is 12 seconds. He also has the Frostbite talent which deals 100% attack damage to 15 targets every 6 seconds and freezes them for 1 second. So the start of his ability which gives him 420% attack and 75% crit for 9 seconds is huge that he procs and then gets that... Uh, 100% attacks damage to 15 targets every 6 seconds. I mean, that's a pretty sweet combo. Especially if you can get him with, I don't know, Bulwark or War God. And then a War God or Bulwark Crest set. I mean, he could seriously be dishing out some damage for Guild Wars defense and in other game modes as well. I'm curious to see how he works. I have not seen this guy as double evolved yet. So, where should we go first? Let's go ahead and test him out in Arena first. Why not? Oh, should we attack somebody? Yeah, I'm going to attack somebody at the low just because I only have him. And I guess I'll use Demo Gorgon, Revenant, and Valentina. Why not? Let's see what these guys can do. Oh, are we going to get a freeze off? Oh, what? Oh, there's the freeze. Oh, that was beast. Are we going to be able to four-man this guy's army with these monstrous heroes? Such overpoweredness. Oh, my gosh. That freeze is brutal in arena. He is going to probably be a mandatory arena hero. I don't see why he wouldn't be. Let me go from a different lane here. Let's see here. I don't want to go heads up. I want to see how effective this freeze is. Alright, let's see here. So right at the start, he gives him a freeze. And then... Oh, he gives him a whole nother freeze right there. Why didn't he hit that Phantom King? I guess Phantom King dodged the freeze. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter if he's silenced or not. So that's good to know. Even with Ares proc, his freeze still works. Let me test that one more time just to verify. I'm pretty sure even with Ares proc, his freeze still worked right there. So it doesn't matter if he's silenced or not. Man, that is crazy. This guy's... Yeah, so he's silenced right now. And freeze. Yep. Freeze still works. So even with the Ares proc on him, he is still dishing out the freeze effect. Alright, let's see how he is in Lost Battlefield. I'm curious to see. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and attack this guy. He is. I'll put him right at the start of the lineups. I wonder if he's going to get his freeze off before that. Oh, he got his freeze off before the Dread Drake. Look at that. That's what I was really curious about. To see if he could beat Dread Drake to the freaking proc. And he did right there. That was crazy. Hopefully, I don't give my man 9 here a loss. I subbed in um, Lil Nick for... Uh, I don't even remember. For Atlanta Core, I think. So it might have affected his team setup. I didn't even check. I just wanted to get Lil Nick in there. Come on. Give us that W, baby. Come on, Demo. What are you doing? Proc. Oh, my gosh. We just got abs. Oh, we got to revive Demo. Oh, come on. Give me one Demo. Oh, man. That is lame. Almost killed that. Ghoulin was a beast right there. All right. I'm just going to leave that as is. That's crazy to see he procced before Dread Drake did right there. I was not expecting that. Do you guys think Lil Nick can solo any HBM? Like, he could probably solo P, but I'm going to take him in S just so we can see how much damage. Actually, you know what? I want to throw him in the uh, crit artifact as well. Let's see. Where is, where is the crit artifact at? Yeah, let's go ahead and toss him in his crit artifact. He's, uh, he's already in an artifact. What artifact does he have him in? Take less damage. No, I want him to deal more damage to see what kind of crits we can get out of Lil Nick. I'm real curious to see. Alright, let's go ahead and run. Should we run S or is that too much? Should we just run R? Yeah, R has a boss that would take a while to kill. So yeah, let's go ahead and run R. Let's see here. Sorry for the disconnect. I'm currently on R4. This guy is doing some insane damage. 357,000 crit to that uh, dino right there. That was nuts. Now, he did have his proc up, so there's a 200,000 crit. Man, his crits can go up to 400k. This is insane. I don't think he's going to be able to solo R. Well, he's definitely not going to be able to, but that doesn't matter. He's still got 350k crits out there. 
That's nuts. Axe of Strife plus his proc is just insanity. There's 125k damage crit. Come on, give us the goods, baby. Give me a big crit. Oh, no. Was that 32,000 on that boss? I think that was only 32,000. Let's see. Give me a crit. Oh, 475,000. Holy smokes. Come on, survive that boss. Oh, we got that revived. Okay, give me one more crit. Oh, nope. Well, 450,000 crit. That is serious right there. Holy smokes. This is going to be the biggest mandatory arena hero ever. Like, what's going to stop this in arena? Nothing. I want to see if he gets his proc off before Dread Drake again. That's what I've been curious, because in Lost Battlefield, he proc'd right away. Let's see if he gets that proc. Yep, he does. This guy, yeah, this guy's rolling with a Dread Drake. So, I mean, if you're rolling with him... All right, let me end this. Because if you're rolling with him and Dread Drake... Oh my gosh, I mean, what can stop that team right there? Just a Dread Drake? This is nuts. I gotta see. Alright, so we got a Dread Drake and a Lil Nick now. That's crazy. That is so overpowered right there. And then Lil Nick's just gonna proc again? Like, how can you beat that with a good setup? You can't. Lil Nick is going to be mandatory in Arena. No questions asked. He is two beasts. And even if the Aries proc'd, he just procs anyway. It don't even matter. Look at that. There he goes again. Proccing right there. That's crazy. Man, imagine if the Demo Gorgon attacked from range instead of just attacking the Crystal. He'd one-shot every team probably. This beast Demo Gorgon thing is so overpowered. I just bought Soul Stones in my account. All right, guys. I just wanted to show, I just wanted to show some footage of... Lil Nick, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. He is going to be a mandatory arena hero, no questions asked. He's going to be the most powered arena hero ever. And also, he's going to be pretty beast for HBM, and he might be good for Guild Wars defense as well. I don't see why he wouldn't be for Guild War, be good for Guild Wars defense. I mean, he procs off, what, every six seconds, so that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, hope you all enjoyed the footage. I am out of here. Peace out, fellas, and thanks, Nine, for letting me borrow this account. You the